Do you believe your boyfriend is loyal to you and seeking a serious relationship? Think again. According to Pew Research, 51% of single men are only searching for casual dates. So how will you know whether your man is only hanging out with you for sex or if he's looking for a long-term relationship? Well, there are quite clear indicators and things he does that can convey his intention. And in this video, we'll show you these seven things. If a man does that, he just wants you for sex. So let's start with the first clear sign. He only notices how you look. You know how awesome it feels when someone compliments how you look, right? It's nice to hear, sure. But here's the deal. You deserve someone who digs deeper than just your outer shell. You've got a lot going on inside. Your smarts, your laughs, and all those solid values that make you, well, you. Now, if a guy is genuinely into you for the real deal, he's going to notice all of that. He'll cheer on your brainy moments, crack up at your jokes, and respect your principles. But if he's always going on about your looks, like how your hair is on point or how that outfit really shows off your figure and stops there, it might be a red flag and he only wants you for sex. Be cautious with men who lay it on thick with the physical compliments, especially if you two haven't really gotten close on a deeper level yet. It's a sign he might just be in it for some quick fun, not the long-term connection. Keep an eye out for those who appreciate the whole package, inside and out. Moving on, another big sign to watch out for is how he texts or emails you. This is super important, so lean in for this part. The way a guy chats with you can really show what he is all about. If a man's messages are always steering things towards flirty or sexual things, that's a big clue about his intentions. Imagine this, you're just chilling at home or maybe picking out veggies at the store, and then ping, a message comes in. Instead of asking about your day or how you're feeling, it's something like, what are you wearing? Or imagine us getting cozy among the strawberries. Sounds a bit much, right? It's like he's trying to turn every conversation into something straight out of a romance novel. Now, compare that to a guy who's genuinely into you for more than just a fling. This guy wants to know what's on your mind. He's asking about your work, how that big project's going, or even how your day at the office went. It's a totally different vibe. He's into your thoughts, your feelings, and what's happening in your life, not just your looks or setting up a steamy scene. So when you're scrolling through those messages, take a moment to notice what he's really asking about. Is it always about getting you into a flirty chat, or is he genuinely interested in what makes you tick? That's a telltale sign of where his interests truly lie. Alright, here's another thing to keep your eyes peeled for, where he wants to hang out. If a guy's idea of spending time together is mostly just chilling at your place with a pizza or maybe some takeout Chinese, it might raise some eyebrows. Now, a cozy night in can be great, but if that's his go-to every single time, it's worth a second thought. Here's the deal, a man who's genuinely into you wants to show you off and experience things together outside of the living room. We're talking dates that require a bit more effort, like checking out that cool new art exhibit or trying out a romantic spot for dinner. These kinds of dates say, I'm interested in you and I want to build something together. On the flip side, if his plans always revolve around staying in, especially in the early stages, it's a sign that he's looking for convenience to have quick sex rather than connection. It's about what's easy and what meets his needs in the moment rather than investing in what you two could become. So think about it. Are your get-togethers more about quality time or do they seem like an afterthought? Remember, a guy who's looking for a real relationship is going to make the effort to take you out and make you feel special, not just keep it casual all the time. Next, here's something else that's super telling. How he reacts when intimacy isn't on the table. Imagine this scenario. You've had a lovely evening together, maybe playing some games or watching a movie. As the night winds down, you mention you're tired and have to get up early. Now, if this guy truly enjoys your company, he's going to be totally cool with that. He's happy to just to have spent time with you, sharing laughs, and maybe a sweet hug or a kiss goodbye. That's a guy who values you for you, not just for what happens behind closed doors. But here's where you can spot the difference. If a guy is seeing you primarily for physical reasons, he's not going to take it well when you're not up for getting intimate. If you say you've got an early start and suggest calling it a night, he might press you to go further or even get upset when you stand your ground. That reaction? It's a huge red flag. Here's the thing. A respectful partner respects your boundaries. Full stop. If he's only in it for the physical stuff, he might show frustration or disappointment when things don't go his way. 
Now, on to another sign that's quite revealing, how he approaches those intimate moments. When a guy is truly into you, not just for what happens in the bedroom, you'll feel a shift. It's not just about getting to the end goal for him. Instead, he's all about the experience, cherishing every hug, kiss, and tender touch. This kind of guy enjoys the slow buildup, the anticipation, and making sure you're feeling the connection just as much as he is. It's about making love, not just the physical act of sex. On the flip side, if he's rushing through these movements of closeness, barely pausing to really connect with you before moving straight to the main event, it's a sign. If foreplay feels like something he's just trying to check off a list, or worse, almost non-existent, it tells you where his priorities lie. He's focused on his satisfaction, not the mutual experience. To him, you're more of a means to an end than a partner in intimacy. Another crucial sign is the conversations you two share. When a relationship is new and exciting, it's natural to feel a strong physical attraction and maybe focus a lot on being close in that way. That's pretty normal at the start. However, as time goes on, your conversations should start to dig deeper. You should be sharing stories, dreams, fears, and laughing over past embarrassments. It's all about building that emotional bond, but if you find that all your chats circle back to when you'll next be intimate, or if it feels like the depth of your discussions is as shallow as a kiddie pool, it's worth paying attention. It's especially concerning if you're the open book sharing every chapter of your life while he keeps his own story under lock and key. If he's always fishing for details about you but clams up when it's his turn to share, it's a red flag. Ask him what's on his mind, how he feels about something that matters, or what he dreams about. If he dodges, deflects, or changes the subject, it's a sign that he's not there for the deep, meaningful connection you might be looking for. And finally, the last telling sign is the progression in your relationship. This is where you take a step back and look at the bigger picture. If you've been seeing each other for a while, say around a few months, and things haven't moved forward, it's a signal worth noticing. We are all talking about everyday stuff like meeting his friends, planning stuff together for the future, or just doing regular day activities like shopping or hanging out in broad daylight. These are the things that weave you into each other's lives, making the relationship more than just about nighttime meetups. If your together time hasn't evolved beyond private encounters, it might be because he views you more as a convenience than a partner. A relationship is about growing together, gradually integrating your lives and building a connection that goes beyond the physical. If you're stuck in the same loop with no signs of moving to the next level, it's a sign that he's not looking at you as a long-term partner, but rather as someone to have quick sex with. And there you have it, ladies, a rundown of the seven things to watch out to know a man's intentions. If you're noticing these patterns and they don't align with what you're looking for, it might be time to have an honest conversation with your man or reflect on what you truly want. Trust your instincts, communicate openly, and never settle for less than you deserve. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, you're worthy of a love that respects and celebrates you for the amazing person you are, inside and out. Here's to finding and nurturing those deep, meaningful connections. Take care.